Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Top Drives. We've got quite a slam-packed episode today, so we're gonna go through this rather quickly. Uh, we're gonna do the Jaguar XJR9 qualifiers, we're gonna do the City Tour after that, and then finally end off with some daily event. It's the French one today, so it's Bugatti Fest of course, but I'm gonna skip over the daily event round. So I will skip all of those, but we have... Uh, 10 rounds here to do first in the qualifiers and the other events. So for the qualifiers, this is what I am bringing. There is one medium, so therefore I have the Gran Turismo. There is three uh, wet and two dry, always. Uh, I'm actually gonna double check so that it's always two dry, because otherwise my two cars there w won't make any sense, right? So let's have a look. So I'm just 100% sure that it's always too dry. Too dry. Too dry, too dry, and too dry. That is absolutely fine. So let's get into it now. Let's see how we do on this one. Uh, so this first guy looks very, very simple. That's often the way it is though. The first guy is super simple and then it gets harder and harder. Uh, twisty circuit, long drag. Um, the long drag we're gonna lose here, I think. That Porsche actually has some very good MRA, yeah. Um... I don't know how I'll do here, I'm hoping I'll do well, uh, but I am obviously unsure because this feels like anybody can put some, uh, get some tricks out of their sleeve, you know, like having this car for instance, I know people who have like three of those, so uh, I'm a little bit worried here going into this, but I'm not too worried, hopefully I can manage to get the top 50, I am not expecting to get a top 10 on this one because anytime it's a German event, I am never, ever truly uh, comfortable with getting a top 10, so this is definitely not going to be an exception. Uh, that's not medium, I don't know what you're doing there, dude. So this guy is uh, who we go versus Carl Rune. Alright, fellow Swedish person, very nice. I'm sorry I have to beat you like this, but... Uh, next time put uh, a medium car when you need to have at least one medium car. Um, that's just a top tip from me to you, Rune. Um, that is a loss, but 53 points, like, I feel like the, um, the Volkswagen TCR is not horrible for the drag, and I don't think I have anything better uh, close to that range for the drags in particular. Uh, I might have a look now after we finish this one, but I don't think there is a better alternative for me to go for, and therefore I've gone for the... <laughs> wow, that was a great word sauce there. I don't think there's anything better for me to go for, so therefore I've gone for... Very nice, okay, let's see. So therefore I've gone for the TCR, uh, but is there anything better? Yeah, as I suspected, there's not really anything quicker. I mean, this is slightly quicker, I guess, but that's not like that... And this is probably... No, that's probably slower because of MRA. Yeah, there's just nothing I can switch out for that. So, I think I'm gonna do good anyways with that. So, now Ocean Parking Lot is definitely a 699 tune course. Uh, and I know that because even in rare, some rares win with 699 on Ocean Parking Lot. So, I'm fine with that. Uh, this should be fine again here. Uh, if you keep giving me these low, tr low trophy boys, then perhaps I can actually do something about this. Um, but I, I think there's gonna be plenty of pay to wins on top. Up top, up top, so... That is actually upgraded once on handling, yeah. Good for you, dude. 6,000 trophies, you're already upgrading niche uh, legendaries. I like it, man. I like it, I like it. This one is interesting, but I do think we win, yeah. Just slightly better off a car. Um, I've had that Audi forever. I'll show you after this. Yeah, you can see we won there with the 699 as I suspected and That might be a loss. No, that's also a win. Okay, very nice And then this is a win obviously we have four-wheel drive and um, so there's nothing he can do without four-wheel drive so there we go, 23rd, looking good for the top 50 here. Um, I'm gonna have a look here and show you. So this should be like 800, yeah, 827 days there. 75% uh, win ratio over a, an astonishing 4,300 races. The only car that has more races is the 12C, uh, which has 5,250. 
You see 811 days on that and 827 on this. I've had this for longer than the 12C. That's how old it is. Um, wow. I feel like I win, like easily win, but I'm so nervous about that fast circuit because he has a maxed. He has that he has that bugger maxed. That's impressive. That's impressive. I don't have the BMW M8. I really do wish I had it. It would help me in so many events, but I don't. That's a great car. I hope they do a rerun at some point. Uh, this guy can get a nice owner challenge uh, where he can own uh, some challenges and get a another prize car that would be nice for him but uh, it looks like the next tri series uh, the one after the jag is not going to be a uh, uh, it's not going to be a rerun either because that would crash with the uh, weekend challenge that will be going on during the finals the next finals uh, of course the owners challenge would uh, collapse with the weekend challenge so therefore uh, we can pretty much with 100% security say that the next one is not going to be a rerun Because if it was they would have to move stuff around Maybe they will but they've never done that in the past So we're probably gonna look at yet another new car uh, Which is very interesting that they've done this This was supposed to be the rerun the Jaguar one I have no idea why they didn't do a rerun I guess they want to get as many new cars out as they can is what I'm guessing so that we can kind of because I feel like right now I, I kind of know I kind of feel what they are trying to do right now It's not very diluted the amount of price cars out there So for a certain event you kind of have to have a certain price car or you are uh, Completely done for so the only way to really counter that is to give out more price cars Of course not everybody's gonna get a price car uh, but uh, if you do get a price car, maybe you can have another option versus another price car that's been given out. So I, I kind of get what they're aiming at here, and I kind of like that concept. Uh, like I, re I, re I really do think that's something you should do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know what more to say really. I, I am all for that. Release more new price cars for sure. Do it. Um, and then I can collect them, and then when you finally go back to reruns, hopefully I will have all the cars you will rerun. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, I am not. I am not the kind of guy who can get every price card just like that. If if I if I want to get a price card, I really have to work towards it and upgrade my cars or open packs. It depends. The last finals, however, I just got lucky. Uh, that's what what happened really um, and I I thought I was gonna get 11th but I got 9th somehow and um, I know my squad was barely enough to the top 10 so but why I say I'm lucky is because I already had all the cards necessary I didn't need to open any packs I think I opened two in total and got nothing that helped me but still I got the car um, so it's very rare that I sit on a hand like that is what I'm trying to say so this is the city tour and sometimes it's five city streets. So this is what I'm going for on this one. Um, because there is almost always a drag also and I think there's always a drag. So the Carlton is fine and it's also medium when it needs to be. So that's good. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there and that goes there. Because this is not medium so I don't know how he's gonna do there. So here, City Streets medium, you want to do 699. I think it ties City Streets small or maybe it loses, I don't remember. But you definitely want to do 699 for City Streets medium, that's for sure. Uh, twisty circuit here is lost towards the... Like, this is a good car now. Like, for 61 RQ, you get some really nice stats, honestly. So I think next time I get that one, I will definitely keep that and max that. Because that seems very good. Oh yeah, this is not medium either. Oh, this guy is gonna get crushed. So we are far behind, far behind, far behind, but then... <laughs> of course, the Cosmo is medium, so... He has no chance. The MRA kicks in and we win that one as well. Lovely. 
Going very well so far. 11th place in this one. Uh, in this one, I'm hoping I can get a top 10 because I feel like not everybody's gonna have three maxed Evos. So I'm feeling pretty good about this one. So hopefully, I'm not uh, putting my faith in the wrong places, is what I'm trying to say here. So here you can see all of them are also city streets. So... My setup should be like among the best tier. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I only have lost one and I think I lost that on my own uh, because I didn't run five... Uh, I didn't run with five uh, medium cars um, because that is very important because two out of the five track sets has five medium. So you kind of, two out of the five track sets, two out of the four track sets have two medium. So you kind of have to run with uh, five medium cars. Did I say have two medium? I meant have five medium. I, 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 I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Please excuse my stupidity. Uh, and let's continue. We are in ninth now. I feel like I have the top hand. That's what I, I feel. Let's go all the way here. Yeah, I beat you. Like, I feel like I have the absolute top hand here. 73,000 trophies does not matter, my friend, because I have kept three Evos and it's paying off in this one. Like, literally, that never pays off except for here. I lose the Twisty Circuit, but that's whatever, honestly. I win this. I lose this because of MRA and stats. That car is so bad. I'm gonna max it though. I am going to max it because it is very good in Subaru events, but that's the only place it's good. They should definitely lower that to like 59 RQ so that it is good uh, on other occasions too, not just the Subaru events. Because it doesn't have high top speeds. I don't get what it's doing up there at that RQ. I definitely think it fits better around the 59 to 61 uh, range. I would put it at 59 personally. Because it's honestly not at all good enough to be uh, 64. I mean, it's just horrible if you compare it to the Evo. So, Which is 63 by the way, may I add. So this is the other one with 5 medium, and he has w uh, 2 cars that are not medium. Oh no no no, I, why did I think this was the Tamora? I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid guys. Let's try this uh, City Street Small here. Okay, so I think on dry this is a win, but on wet it's a loss. Yeah, okay. Nice. So yeah, 699 your first Evo 4, 969 your second, and then 699 your third. That, that That's my tip for you uh, when you're gonna do the Evos. Honestly, keep 4. Keep 4. I w wish I would have had 4 for this event. That would be great. Um, but obviously I do not. Um, but I really wish I did. So next time I'm gonna get the fourth, I will keep it for instances like this one, where that would be actually great. Um, final ticket. It looks like we are, as I said, the creed of the crop. That's exactly what I was expecting. Uh, yeah, this guy has three non-medium cars. I don't know how some of these people think, um, because that is not gonna cut it, I'm, I'm afraid here, so... I don't want to put that on City Streets Medium, so I'm gonna have to do this. There we go. So hopefully we'll get maybe even the top two here, because I don't see how you can have a better squad. I think the best squad, the absolute best squad here would be um, uh, Evo, 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 Evo and Carlton. I think that would be the best squad, honestly. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have another Evo. If I did, I would probably have the best possible squad you can have for this event, which would be crazy. Um, but uh, as it is right now, I don't. I don't. I get beaten by Evo, 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 Carlton. Uh, because my Master Cosmo cannot keep up with an Evo, even on the wet city streets. So, that's what I'm missing. Maybe Rick Ves Veselink has that hand. You never know. 
Uh, okay, so there we go. Now it's just the daily event left. It's French cars. It's the French daily. I'll just skip through these rounds. But uh, if you're wondering which squad I'm using, it's this. It's uh, pretty bad, honestly. For for a um, French daily, it's honestly pretty bad. I think I'm gonna get um, maybe like fifth place. Some somewhere there is what I, where I'm guessing I'm gonna end up. Because there's always uh, some hands with like four or five Bugattis uh, that you just cannot beat. Um, so we'll just continue here and see how far we can go. Uh, this guy once again we can beat, so I feel good about that. Is that upgraded? No, it's not. So we win the hairpin road as well. Lovely. Um, there we go. Like, it's not a bad squad, don't get me wrong. Like, having two Bugattis and three max epics, that's definitely gonna land me in the top 10. I'm just saying I don't have a chance for the first place. There's just no way. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I, 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 that, that sounded a little bit rough when I said that it's a bad hand. It's not necessarily a bad hand, it's just not good enough, is what I'm trying to say here. Of course I smash all of these hands, uh, but I wish I had another Bugatti Chiron. Or something like that, because then this hand would be uh, better. Um, obviously, I would then also have had to upgrade one of the Bugatti Chirons on handling. But yeah, I would probably do that if I got another Chiron. Because uh, that would make sense to do, at least in my, in my honest opinion. Now, this one is the one that's hard, even with the Bugattis. Um... But that's fine, and this should still be all good. We might lose the drag, actually, versus the Bugatti Veyron, but I'm not sure. No, we don't. Okay, so we're in 8th. Let's see if we can't find a very hard hand so I can show you guys my point. Maybe we cannot. Um, yeah, this is a good example. Uh, this one is almost maxed. This one is upgraded once on weight. This one is almost maxed. Uh, this one is almost maxed. No, it's not. It's just upgraded once, and this one is maxed. Like I can't, I can't do anything versus this. I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick think here and see if we can't win, anyways. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it just because I want to show you guys. Um, so that can go there for a win. That can go there for a win. That'll lose. Let's see, actually. I might actually be able to beat this guy, but on this particular track set only. That's the breaker. Let's have a look here. I don't know about this. Very close. Very, very close. Yes, that's a win. Okay, we win versus this guy, apparently. That's a loss, but that's fine now that we won that other one. Um... Because this is a win. I thought that was gonna be more far uh, far apart, but we won it at least, and then this is a win. So we did beat that guy, but what I'm saying is that there are better guys than even him, and he had a great squad, so... And yeah. These guys are probably gonna be very, very hard. But yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching today's episode of Top Drives, another gameplay episode. I promise that the next episode I release will be a pack opening episode, so if you're hyped for that, definitely click that subscription button so you don't miss out it's completely free and you can always change your mind later it makes so much sense for you to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and it makes me so much happier when you do so so please 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 click the subscribe button also if you want to like the video that helps me out a lot because then it gets recommended to more people it gets put in the algorithm and if you guys want to, you can check out my public Discord server. It's all about top drives. It's a top drive server rather than a YouTube server about me. It's about top drives and you can get tips there about top drives. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Uh, I also have an Instagram where I post every single max out I do. And I have a Patreon if that interests you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another. And goodbye guys.